are going to draw a dragon. So I'm going to start off with the eye, and um, then I'm going to do the basic outline for uh, the dragon. And it's just going to be its face. The body is unfold. So I'm going to do these ridges just for the outline of where the teeth are going to be. I'm going to give him a big um, underbite. And um, then I'm going to um, just keep doing my outline. And then um, color in the nose and get my eye right. So just like I like it. And do the eyelid and the pupil. And then I'm uh, going to do the little spikes at the bottom of the jawline. And then his ear is like a little bee, um, so just the main part and then the skin in between. And I'm going to do spikes on the top of his head for extra protection against anything that tries to attack him. And then I'm going to um, do the lip line for where his teeth are, uh, so it doesn't just look kind of ragged. And then, uh, just finishing those details, and I'm going to use my sharpie and outline the whole thing, starting with the eye, and doing these spikes above his um, eye, like eyebrows, and his eyelids, pupils, and then uh, his nose, and then I'm lining the where the lip is, and then I changed where the teeth are because I didn't like where I originally had them. So you can see they're still kind of in the same place. And then I'm doing, uh, also changed the um, specs at the bottom as well. And then just doing that line and the spikes again at the top. And then the ear, that looks like a wing, with the little spikes coming out of it. And then did the line between them, and then the spikes on the back. And then just adding in a little bit of extra lines. And then I used my eraser and just erase on top. This is why Sharpie is so good, because it doesn't smudge when you erase right over the top of it, because it absorbs right into the paper. So I'm just finishing up erasing. Wipe off all those eraser shavings. And then I'm choosing my colors after this. I'm going to use um, I'm going to use a blue, a light sky blue, and a darker blue, and a green. And I'm also using this purple for the wing, no, ear wing. And it's good to have it darker around the spikes and then in the middle have it lighter so it looks like it's the skin is being stretched. It's kind of a cool effect. Same thing with that, all that. Lighter in the middle. light blue and my light green and my darker blue and a golden yellow and a red. So with the golden yellow I'm just doing in the middle of its eye and then around the edges I'm doing the red just very lightly. So we have them. has sort of bloodshot eyes. And then I'm going to use the light green and I'm going to go around his eye. I'm also going to go around his nose and in his ear. It just gives a, a cool highlight. And then I'm going to uh, use a brown, a light brown, and um, do the spikes on these. And it's better to do darker on the bottom so it gives it a 3D look. 
same thing with the, those on the other side and then these spikes on this side on his jawline. See how I, I get it darker on the bottom and lighter on the top? Give it a 3D look. Because my light is coming from the top of the page. And same thing with these big spikes. Darker on the bottom, lighter on the top. Make sure you get those blended in really well so that it doesn't look like big lines between the dark and the light. Same with these ones. Light on the top, dark on the bottom. And then I'm going to use my light blue and I am going to um, go around all the way in um, with the rest of the blue. Doing the cheek. And it's also a good idea to do a uh, darker on the bottom liner on the top. It's a good principle. So wherever your light is coming from, you're gonna want your um, dark darkness to be on the other side where the shadows would be. And then I had a little bit darker around the teeth because I wanted there to be more shadow there. shade um, all the way around so you don't have these weird lines and just continue coloring and a little darker around the teeth and then I made it a little darker around um, where the spikes were and then I made it a lot darker underneath where his uh, jaw is because there is more shadow underneath there than anywhere else. And then I also gave a shadow underneath the ear. And then made a little darker around where the, uh, the spikes were. And then just coloring it all the way in and blending it to make sure it doesn't have weird lines. And then um, just kind of finishing up little uh, shadows, making them a little bit darker so that it gives it more depth. And then I'm using the black and just slightly going over it where the dark places are so that it gives more shadow. It's all about the shadow and around the teeth so they don't just look like flat things sticking out of his mouth. And then over the ring and jawline. And then just in different places that I feel like it needs it. And then I am starting the task, the wonderful task of doing all the little scales all on his face. So around the nose, I start off my scales really small, and I'm just doing circles together, and they're all uneven in different shapes. Some dragons have very even scales, but mine does not. And then as I'm getting uh, closer to the larger part of his face, I get my scales a little bit larger, but they're all really random, so that um, it gives it a pretty cool look. And just keep doing my scales, circles and circles and circles, and I'm all I'm doing them all the same shade. Though it is sometimes fun to do different shades. And then on the top of the head, I'm making them um, about medium sized, not as small as near the nose, but not super big either. And I'm making them bigger as I get up, up toward the top of his forehead. And then I do lines of them around where the, where the spikes are. Lots and lots and lots of scales. At first I thought I wasn't going to do any scales, but then I decided that 
it would look a lot cooler if I did do scales and dragons have scales, so there you go. And more scales are getting bigger. This is where they get pretty big, up around where his cheek is. I made them pretty big. And I kind of got the big ones out there so that I could fill in the little ones around them. And again, make them really random because it makes it, give, it gives it a big, bigger effect. And more and more scales, and more scales, and dragon scales. And piano scales and oh no piano scales and then out here I got really big like these are where the biggest ones are um, and I made a lot of big ones around here and then filled in the little gaps with a bunch of little scales and I make them all go out like that so that it, it actually for me it feels like there's less time um, spent putting in all the scales. And this dragon is turning out pretty well. Um, as I fill in these scales, please feel free to subscribe and like and share with all your friends. Just fill in the last few of them. Almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. We can do it. Keep watching. I know you can do it. Just a few more left. And there we go. I hope you liked. Goodbye.